Greetings everybody, my name is Travis Guzzi. I'm the Mission Engagement Facilitator for the SAD Central Region, and it's a joy and privilege to once again bring this latest edition, the iGo Vlog, to you. To empower you as everyday missionaries to connect with your neighbors in love and service in order to connect people to Jesus. Well, in this latest edition, the iGo Vlog, I want to revisit something we took a look at in the last edition, the iGo Vlog, and that's the idea of feet. And there we, we heard how beautiful our feet are when we bring the good news of the gospel to those who have never heard. Well, in this edition, I want to continue our focus on feet, but taking a look at feet through the lens of John 13, as we hear the account of Jesus washing his disciples' feet. It's the Passover, and Jesus is gathered with his disciples in the other room to celebrate this great uh, feast that remembered the, the victory, the salvation that God gave to his people Israel. And Jesus would soon redefine that meal to something we know as the Lord's Supper. Uh, pointing to the sacrifice that he would soon be making on the cross. But here Jesus, uh, just before he's betrayed later that night and, and going to his uh, death, he, he gets up from the table and he does something amazing. He takes off his, his robe, he puts a towel around his waist, and he begins to wash his disciples' feet. Now this took uh, the disciples aback because this shouldn't be something that Jesus would do. This wasn't supposed to be part of his job description. You see, washing feet in Jesus' day and age was for the role of a servant. And not just any servant, but the lowest of the lowest servants. I mean, just think about what it was like to walk around in sandals, sandals in the Judean countryside uh, with the dirt and the mud and horses and manure. Let's face it, feet were really dirty back then. And so it would be the, the lowest of the lowest servant who would be the one who would have to wash feet. And yet here's Jesus, their, their Lord, their master, their rabbi, who's of all things washing their feet. It actually should probably be the other way around. The disciples would expect to wash the feet of Jesus. And so Jesus comes to Peter and Peter says, are you going to wash my feet? And, and Jesus is like, yeah, I'm going to wash your feet. And he says, well, Lord, you will never wash my feet, of which Jesus says, if I don't wash you, you have no part of me. And then Peter, going overboard as he often does, well then, Lord, if not my feet, then also my head and my hands as well, to which Jesus replies, listen, if, if I clean you, you are clean. And when Jesus gets done, he sits back down at a table and he says, do you understand what I've done for you? If I, your Lord and Master, have washed your feet, you should do the same. And what Jesus was doing was giving us as his followers an example. That here Jesus is the one who deserving to have his feet washed and yet he would humble himself and serve us. Serve us the way that he has done by his life, his death there on the cross and his resurrection in order to make us clean. And if he would love and serve us in such a way, he says, then you as my followers do in kind. We're reminded of Jesus' words that says, uh, if you want to be great in the kingdom of God, you must become like a servant. And so my question for you today is, how can you love and serve others in your neighborhood, in your community, where you live, work, and play, as Jesus has loved and served you? Now, we don't have a lot of opportunity to be able to actually wash feet today. Uh, that's just not the culture, the day and age that we live in. But we can really take kind of the heart and the spirit in a metaphorical way. How can we metaphorically wash the feet of others? How can we love and serve them? And it reminds us that, that when Jesus does this, he, he talks about uh, the idea that it's us taking the form of a servant. And it's doing something that maybe people wouldn't expect us to do, to really take a, a humble position to be able to care for the needs of others. And so where in your neighborhood, your cul-de-sac, uh, maybe your apartment complex, your workplace, your school, where do you have that opportunity to, to live as a servant, to serve others in a humble way? And I even want to challenge you to maybe think beyond uh, the places in which you're comfortable and perhaps to find ways to reach out beyond your comfort zone uh, to those who maybe are orphaned and widowed, to those who are hurting and broken, in need and in poverty. How can you take your place of, of comfort and, and position and abundance that you have and to lay that aside for a time to be able to go and love those who perhaps need it the most in life? Uh, to reflect the love of Jesus in the way that he has reflected that love to us. 
I hope and pray that this uh, iGo vlog has been a blessing to you, inspired you to, to step out and, and love and serve others the way that Jesus has done that for us. Uh, if you have any questions on this uh, vlog or any of the other ones I've done, please feel free to reach out to me. And with that, I want to wish you all God's richest blessings, and we'll catch you next time for the next iGo vlog. Take care, everybody.